Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple yet dynamic dashboard with pivot tables. So let me just quickly show you how this dashboard works. So I'm going to select the different a different country that's Spain and you can see that the dashboard is getting updated so in this I can also select multiple countries and the dashboard will get updated accordingly now in a previous video I had shown you using the same data set how to create the dashboard using sum ifs count ifs and average ifs so this is the dashboard. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you to go and watch that and I'll leave the link to that in my description box below. So let's start with this uh, video here. Now, in order to start, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a duplicate copy and I'm going to move it to the end. All right, and I'm going to delete the graph and also I'm going to, get, going to delete the pivot table. Now in order to delete the pivot table, I'll, I'll go to, I'll select a cell in the pivot table and go for select and click on the entire pivot table and delete it. All right, I'll also delete whatever formatting is there over here. And to start with, to create the pivot table, I'll click on any point and I'll go for insert and go for pivot table and it will automatically select whatever data that's there in the table. If you want, you can also go down and see if the whole data set was selected, whatever you wanted. All right. Now go for existing worksheet and I'll click on any part of the sheet and click on OK and the pivot table is the pivot table is initiated here now before we start uh, plotting this uh, pivot table i would like to quickly explain what this table is and how this table uh, uh, what this table is about now this is a simple table which has the different years the different teams and the different players in the team and their salaries now we're going to try to create a meaningful dashboard out of it in which we'll be able to um, see year wise how the uh, number of players and the total salaries provided to them uh, in the year and um, what's the average salary of that year that's given to um, a, a player all right now in order to start what we're going to do is i'm going to put the year in the rows and the team in the filters and the salaries I'm going to put it two times I'm going to explain you why I did that and finally the player over here now quickly I'm going to change this the second salary option to average and that's why I did that and now I'm going to select any of the country here you can see that everything is dynamically updated and obviously we don't need this uh, grand total so I'm just going to go to design and I'm going to um, click the off for rows and columns option and that's going to go away now we can format it a little bit by going to the home and just putting the boundaries all right okay now it's created let's also find out whether this is getting dynamically updated the table and it's all working fine and finally in order to insert the graph what you need to do is just go ahead and insert the graph here and go for the combo the chain chart and go for combo and select the line option and you have to select the uh, secondary axis for it the reason why you're doing that is because the the values which is shown for count of players 
is in terms of number of players whereas you have uh, the salary which is displayed for these two so this cannot be shown using a single axis so you need a secondary axis to show that that's the reason and you have the data here and one final thing which I want to show you is um, the advantage of going for pivots is that in this table if we have seen the previous table which was created using um, some ifs averages and if I want to see who are those two players um, in 2002 from Brazil I, I basically cannot really see that unless I go ahead over here and I filter them whereas if I go to the pure table and the same same whatever data that we're seeing in Brazil 2002 I'll just go for Brazil in 2002 there are two players and if I double click over here it's going to show you exactly who are those players from Brazil and what are their salaries and all those data so that's one advantage when you're going ahead with the pivot tables uh, nevertheless it's always important to also understand um, the functioning of count ifs average ifs and some of this is definitely useful in uh, various different uh, dashboards so that's all about today's video i hope you enjoyed if you have enjoyed put the like button and also subscribe and share thank you and stay tuned